Alrighty, what's going on ladies and gentlemen today i'm going to go over a very fast uh, handling with you guys on how to make sure that your hell divers 2 runs as good as possible especially if you're on an amd gpu if you have an older computer and just trying to help you get as much enjoyment out of that game as possible so the first thing that you want to do here is go over to gaming and you want to make sure that you are on the first page here it will show you the library you can go back and forth with this just as a note and you want to go over here to hell divers 2 and you're going to get a few different options here so if you have an older computer you want to go ahead and use super resolution disabled for a gaming experience you can definitely do either hyper rx or hyper rx eco it doesn't particularly matter but if you have an older computer i would do eco it's going to heat your computer less fast so you have that benefit as well uh, you definitely want to make sure that you have fluid motion frames it's going to boost your fps and it's not going to create as many problems for you as possible and this is the key point right here you need to enable radeon chill and you need to minimum 60 and maximum 120 or 144 however 120 is pretty much all you're going to need now in terms of the actual display port settings you don't really need to touch any of this right here it's pretty much good to go as is you can try to actually tune the game performance it's probably not the best idea to be honest with you if you don't know what you're doing here so i would just fully stay away from this however if you also go to home here you're going to have a drivers and software right here and if you actually look at the release notes right here it says new game supported those three great you know that's awesome and fixed issue is number one right here is improvement to intermittent driver timeout or application crash experience while playing Helldivers 2 on AMD 7000 series GPU. AMD has continued to investigate issue reports of driver timeouts and application crashes while playing Helldivers 2. As it says right here, intermittent driver timeout application makes sense while playing Helldivers 2 with 100% GPU utilization or AMD graphics products such as AMD Radeon 9000 XCX. So you want to just go here, click install, you say yes, go ahead, great, you get that all done. Alrighty, so uh, for this first page here on gameplay, you want to make matchmaking on friends only. This is going to prevent you from continually looking on your network for other games and will keep it private between your friends. On crossplay, you want to disable it. Again, it's going to take less bandwidth and less effort for your computer to actually you know, only find other computers and not find PlayStations and computers. It'll just keep it a little bit simpler. If you want to, you can go ahead and disable Windows notification and disable data collection. It'll improve it marginally, not much, however, so you can do what you wish with that. On the display here, I would definitely make camera shake strength weak or off. For high dynamic range, I would definitely keep that off as well. You want to make sure that your, your graphics card is the one that you want to select here. So on the render scale here, the very far left is going to be the best performance possible and the far right is going to be the best looking possible. So you want to just probably stay around center. If it's not working well for you, just lower it. Um, performance is probably a good compromise for an older computer. In terms of frame rate limit, you absolutely want to have this on. I was running at about 190 FPS in this game and it was causing my computer to have a very bad time. So you wanna make sure that you have this on and set to 120 or whatever your monitor display is set to. Now for your graphics presets here, depending on your computer, you can have it kind of run at whatever one you want. However, if you have an older one, I'd probably run it at about medium or low, depends on you. In terms of motion blur, I would definitely make that move down. It's gonna help you not have motion sickness because this game absolutely has a lot of motion sickness. In terms of depth of field, this means that everything is gonna be in focus at all times, even if you're zooming in, so that helps. However, it will cause you have more rendering problems. So if you need to, turn it off. In terms of bloom, turn it off as well. If you have an older computer, sharpness won't really do much for you here. These are all pretty much preset, however, you can change it if you want the lower the better audio isn't going to do much for you hud ain't going to do much for you accessibility will not do much for you Alrighty, and with that gone over here that's pretty much all that we got today thank you so much for watching peace out for now